One year later, the family of late Sylvester Oromoni Jr., a deceased student of Doen College, Lakey, Lagos State, who died in questionable circumstances on November 30, 2021, has continued to demand justice. Oromoni was allegedly killed in school as a consequence of bullying, assault, neglect, and the provision of a poisoned chemical. The Lagos State Government ordered a coroner's inquest to determine the cause of the death, which began on January 21, 2022, in the Magistrate Court Ekbe now Magistrate Court 20 Ogba. Mr. Sylvester Oromoni, the deceased student's father, indicated a signed statement made available to journalists on Tuesday in Worry Delta State that if the investigation is not completed by the end of the year, he will sue in order to take a different legal step to seek justice. He expressed dismay that the coroner's inquest into the 2021 Ikoi building collapse, which killed 52 people, did not last as long as it should have. In addition, the inquest into the death of Mrs. Jumoke Oyeleke at the Ojota Yoruba demonstration has been completed. As the father of the deceased, I cannot be tired or discouraged from pursuing justice as I have promised my son to get him justice, even if it will take 30 years to achieve it. Today, November 30th, 2022, makes it a year since the demise of my son and the body is still in the morgue, yet to be buried. This one-year memorial being held today is to tell Nigerians and the entire world about the current position of the inquest and the antics of Doen College. May the soul of Sylvester Oromoni Jr. and all departed souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. At this point, I wish to call on the Honorable Coroner to please do the needful by urgently bringing the inquest to an end as Nigerians and the entire world are waiting for the dispensation of justice in this case as justice delayed is justice denied. This struggle is not only about my late son, but my own way of preventing the future occurrence of this tragic incident. In the same vein, we equally urge the Lagos State Government as a matter of urgency to charge Doen College and all the staff who had earlier been recommended for prosecution in the DPP advice of 30th day of December 2021 to cut. According to reports, the legal advice previously issued by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Ministry of Justice, Lagos State, and Director Doen College and some of its employees and recommended that they be prosecuted under Section 252 of the Criminal Law, Volume 3, Laws of Lagos State 2015. Despite the advice, these people are apparently moving around freely while the deceased body remains in the mortuary. The coroner then adjourned proceedings to November 21, 2022 for Doen College to produce the two remaining witnesses from the school. But the school allegedly refused to provide these two witnesses who were still at Doen College on November 21, 2022 the opportunity to speak in front of the coroner. As a result, the inquest was postponed until November 28, 2022. Unfortunately, the coroner was unable to convene on this date due to the absence of these crucial Doen College witnesses.